Greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. This is from the replay request series and this is going to be by none other than Jockey who is spawning on the top left as the blue human player. He will be playing up against Antonio RJ spawning as the silver orc player on the right side of this map and to my surprise both players have not put down a single building yet they're both going in for sort of a late uh, yeah this is probably a parallel build and uh, yeah, Jockey says this is replay this replay is old <laughs> a couple of months probably <laughs> actually a couple of months ago uh, I'm gonna put down the altar on the side of uh, Antonio Jockey yeah this was definitely parallel build order Pally rifle. You could of course transition that into anything. You could go with any other hero that's not a pally too. So yes, before we cover the replay, just like to advise everybody that anybody and everybody is welcome to send me replays for the replay request series. To know more about how you can do so, you can join the Discord server. Link to that is on the Twitch panel and in the description below. I never really understood the concept of having to not put down a single building while getting enough resources to put down four buildings at the same time. I mean, what is that concept even about? I mean, in this scenario, both players have done that. Jockey has done that, Antonio has done that. I mean, do you really gain any benefit from that? I don't know. Just having a single uh, worker go for the altar for until the other buildings come up, that's gonna be uh, a thing there, I don't know. Gaining lumber, Stormy. Gaining lumber, says Jockey. I don't know, man. I'm kind of opposed to that idea, but I, I mean, I, I would only find out well when I give it a go myself. I mean, it's just uh, that I uh, played Warcraft for so long that I kind of feel that uh, that doesn't seem to be the thing. But anyways, we're gonna have the farce here for um, Antonio. Jockey's gonna go in for the Paladin. Here comes Jockey's uh, Militiaman, Coward Steve, gonna attack the burrow. Yeah, we're gonna call him Coward Steve. And oh wow, <laughs> Antonio tried to get up here to repair it, realizing that he cannot repair a building that's not constructed just yet. Uh, the bear burrow's gonna take some damage. Farzi is gonna be out and gonna make short work of that little pesky Coward Steve. Not gonna escape probably, but for until it has to deal with Coward Steve. Uh, he will have to take some time out to uh, let go of whatever he was trying to do as a po uh, in comparison to what he will have to do. So Jockey is going to have to secure a couple of towers there as well. We have a Farseer coming in. So you got a situation right now Jockey. Your opponent went in for kind of a late uh, build, build here as well. But let's assume you, he didn't go for the late build. And let's assume that he sent out his scout Steve and stuff as well. By this time, the Farseer would have reached your base and would have been harassing you and you only just got your hero out. Like, I, I, are you prepared to face against something like that? That's just a question of mine for the entire late build process. It's just a question. As one of the Feral Spirits gets in and is attacking the units there. And Jockey has no chill, doesn't care. Just gonna get the militiamen to attack it in return and then uh, go out for the creeping. Well, I guess that could work out. Uh, let's go. No. Gonna stop there a bit. Okay. Antonio getting a lot of headhunters in the back line. Headhunters versus riflemen. This should be interesting. Best part about head headhunters is that they are upgradable at tier 3. Riflemen are moderately strong and they remain just as strong up till the end. As long as you can keep upgrading them and after giving them the long rifle upgrade they become a bit more versatile. Jockey trying to secure a complete wall of my understanding or why the hell do you want to put down that many farms? You don't really want to put down that many farms. I would rather check up. You just need to put down one farm at a time because you're not going to be able to make, you're not going to be able to utilize that much capacity at the same time either. So I mean you're, you're already like at 54. You're not going to get at 54 right away. Go for the tech. Don't do this. This is not. Def this is definitely not gonna work out. Also, you don't have a shop. 
Shop's gonna be kinda necessary to try and defend base. Trying to get the kill on that headhunter. Few more shots. Sadly, the holy light is not going to damage it. Not an undead unit. I think he should manage to escape, get back to his base, unless until he gets bumped, bumped. He got bumped. He got body blocked by his own unit. And the poor troll succumbs. That is a sad, sad story for that poor troll over there. And uh, Jockey says I'm playing Sims. Oh, of course. Jockey shall play Sims. But that's the most interesting thing to do. Put down a lumber mill at the back as well. And have one of your riflemen duck. Yes. Let's go for an orange camp. Uh, or rather an orange camp. You took get my English right. English brothers, English. Tony RJ getting to level 2 on his Farseer. Jockey about to get level 2 as well. If he manages to take this creep cam out successfully, which right, is a challenge right now. He's not targeting any. Wow, there we go. Losing riflemen to creeps. And a second one? No. Not yet. I mean, this camp requires targeting. A lot of targeting. He got himself the best item he could, though. Illyria's Flute of Accuracy. Probably the best item he could have gained. In this scenario, rifleman build order. Now I'm putting down a shop and still staying at tier one, really. And yes, because advanced lumber tech wasn't good enough, you need a shredder. Tier two is already done on this side, but we don't have tier two stuff coming in. Don't even want to put down an, exp an expansion down there. I'll get some. A player's forces are under attack. Well, there. Johnny apparently creep, right? Next to the base of Jock. <sighs> now you're gonna take a really. But yeah, this is really a counterproductive play. You could have teched a long time ago, and even while teching, you could have made the same number of buildings you made right now. Just had to use your resources carefully. It's all about your resource management. While getting riflemen, you can still tech up and you can still put down those buildings one by one. There was really no need to have that many farms at the same time. He be coming in, Jockey is not. Oh, he almost got trapped uh, on that uh, paladin there. Potion of wind will act like a divine shield. And the riflemen are tearing apart those headhunters. The headhunters have very low HP. Finally, uh Antonio getting some getting it back on Jockey. But Jockey isn't leaving just yet. He's still attacking those headhunters. Chain lightning, now using the TP. But not not gonna TP away before he loses that one more rifleman there. No, none of them got better of that exchange. Although Jockey could have easily gotten them. You're not making riflemen. You should be making riflemen less than until you have different plans. But you're not gonna get tier 2 plans until you have tier 2. A zeppelin. A zeppelin. What are you gonna do with a zeppelin? Riflemen. Ali. Oh, yes, you needed that to get out of your base. Yes, of course. Block your base and then buy a Zeppelin to get out. Very productive. 
player's forces are under attack. No TP while moving out of the base. No TP on the side of Antonio either. But Antonio is leveling up. We got level 4 on the first seer now. He didn't get a second hero just yet though. Here to ready. Zeppelin on the base and workshop being put down. all up and ready although it has more number of peons to it <laughs> than it's needed probably it looks like seven jockey says zeppelins are nice really you don't need to go for green camps those are gonna be super easy go for orange ones there are a lot of orange camps on twisted meadows Antonio doing one thing right is uh, that he's going in towards uh, the far side of the map, side where none of the players are. The only problem is that he doesn't have TP to TP back in in a case of emergency, which is right now by the way. Jockey got himself a mountain being second hero, didn't see that coming in. So, in case of an emergency like this, the only option that uh, Antonio has is to run back. He has been called in, but they're doing nothing. They're doing nothing. Peons did nothing. They could have tried to repair that burrow or could have burrowed inside of it, but they did nothing. Jockey will destroy a burrow, then alright, back out lightly. Mordars! Jockey is putting down some Mordars, it appears. He goes in towards uh, an orange camp finally, and oh, big thunderclap! Big thunderclap, that's gonna be useful in taking out those headhunters. But he's gonna have to make sure that he has all the mana in the world while trying to do so. Uh, taking all the damage on the farce here. Can heal it, but I think taking damage on the Feral Spirit would be better. There are summonables. Mountain King about to level up. Got TP picked up, and more mortal teams, and a second Zeppelin, really? Both of the parties, the wolf and the blue army are just gonna mind their own business even after body blocking and bumping into each other. Level 2 Mountain King. Jockey says that motors take up to 2 space of course I need 2 zeppelins. How many motors do you want? <laughs> It depends on that. Hmm. I was gonna assume that you were gonna go towards A player's forces are under the inner attack. side of uh, the trees there, the tree line, and perhaps uh, put down your put down the zeppelin there with the motor team, but that may not be the case. Jockey says, is that even a question? A lot. How many motor teams do you want to produce? Ten of them? <laughs> like... I kind of want to know though, how many motor teams do you need 
to be able to one shot a town center like a town hall or great hall big fight big fight Antonio tried to run away but jockey caught him right there and then big thunderclap going down and trying to target the main hero oh bash that was deadly but he comes out of the bash and uses GP to get back If you look at the number of units, they definitely had more number of units compared to Jockey there. But the hero focusing for the TP or Jockey lost a good number of units there. Well, Jockey says that originally I was gonna do that, but there was a change of plans. I use this. Okay. You need just one more to fill these zeppelins up. And then these zeppelins are basically artillery artillery planters of course parts are expansion because one expansion was good enough uh oh he didn't see the zeppelins did he as he went in for the assault the zeppelins are only going in from the north side and he doesn't really have a lot of riflemen. I don't really see why Antonio is re retreating back. He got raiders and stuff, but he is backing out. You can actually put the mortar teams down here as well. And there's literally nothing that can... Wow, is he going to do that? You can actually put them down right here. And there's nothing that can reach them on, at that spot. Like literally nothing. If you put them down there. You can put them down at the back as well. And they could cause havoc. Jockey seems to be trying to get a good position. Here they come. Here they come. And as I like to say, eat water, eat lead. And that tower just ate lead. They're attacking ground right now. That looks deadly. Now they're gonna attack the army. Uh oh, the raiders are in danger. Attack the hero. Now I'm gonna back out a bit. Boom! They're attacking the other hero. Raiders are all on them though. But they're dealing so much damage to the heroes. Raiders gonna make short work of it, but Antonio loses his hero there. Holy light, yes, because they are our biological units. He's attacking the main. Two mortars down, but main is 50%. What the hell is he doing? Antonio isn't repairing his main. Big stomp, but three are still alive. Three of them are still alive. Level 5 pally. The main's gonna go down. Two more shots. Now he's repairing it. Jockey almost takes out the main. Almost being the keyword. PC goes down. Not really getting any reinforcements, I see. Is they're not here yet. There's a lot of time for until the Farseer comes back. There's a level 4 Farseer. There's a lot of defenses here, but I don't think it's gonna be function. It's not it's gonna be enough. Motor team is still attacking the main. How everything is. Hero's about to be out. But we got knights on the field now. 
Uh oh, we need a holy light. No mana. No mana for the holy light. Mountain King likely gonna go down. Kali almost down. Gonna use a TP to get away, really? And spontaneously, the force here comes out. Kali is stuck. Kali is stuck. And these two, these two are stuck too. Here comes the zeppelin to the rescue, though. Does that zeppelin have anything? No, does not. It's been a good time in trying to attack the main. He's gonna lose the tech if he loses the main, and that's it. He's not gonna lose his second and third gold mine, which Jockey did not even find out about of yet. Sort of healing potion and uh, clarity potion. Or as sort of regen. Salt again. Expansion. I mean to say gold, but it's down for Jockey. How are they gonna deal with this? Not enough gold to set down another town hall at that expansion. He is spending all of his gold on his stuff and oh is this an all in? Seems to be an all in push. That's a lot of damage. Going in and they're going after the main. Not yet. First that uh, tower. Militiamen heading in. Big fight. More teams once again at their dirty work. Shadowhunter goes down. Big Stormbolt on that force here. Level 5 MK. Wow. And now the game's over. Level 6 Pally. Could he revive? Resurrection. There we go. One mortar team is back. And another one dies immediately. Antonio leaves the game. And that was the meme game for the day. Gonna be all in this. And I'll see you on the next episode of. Warcraft Day